Welcome to this episode of Hong Kong Travel Photography and this time it's also sponsored by Squarespace when you want to get your website done, uh, online store think about getting it from Squarespace This episode is all about outer islands in Hong Kong Actually there are lots of outer islands in Hong Kong and there are lots of villages mainly are fishermen villages they are still the kind of the same for decades If you open the map of Hong Kong on Google, try zoom in to those seemingly random islands, you'll be surprised so many of them have people live there. This is one of them, Tai O. Even around all the outer islands in Hong Kong, Tai O is quite unique. I think because all the houses are built on water. And the thing is, there are still a lot of people live here, work here, they still fish. These are not just touristy attractions, there are actually people live here, work here. It's still we alive. Look at those kind of balcony. <laughs> this is great. Now one of the tips is to only come here during weekdays. Today is a weekday, you see how many people here. And I have been here during weekend. Last time weekend when I left here around 6 or 7 p.m. something like that, the bus stopped. Hundreds, hundreds of people. That's... Now this is an iconic bridge. You can get on one of those boats. And here you can find Solo Cafe and you will see why I put my tips on Foursquare about Solo Cafe is that this could be the only reason you come to Tai O. Without this cafe, if you escape the city, come to Tai O to research you and see some residents here got their own balcony and then I, oh, I hope I can chill out at the balcony here. You can with this cafe. It's just obvious to have a cafe here at the balcony looking at the can canal. Can you call this canal? This is not ex exactly canal, it's not river, it's just all those houses that's built around on the sea. We've been here during digital rest time with Kai and LMB, and then we, uh, we actually chat with the owner here. The owner here was actually born in Tai O, grew up here and then go out to the city to work. For, for a few years, something like that, and then he just get tired of the city life. Come back here, open this cafe until now. Yeah, this is about water. I mean, I wonder how many mobile phones down there. Guess what these are? Teens, these are not oranges. These are eggs. They still make the salty eggs the same old way. In the sun, renewable energy. The slow oven, low oven needed. The traditional that kind of slogan, uh, you will see a lot during Chinese New Year in Chinatown, this and that. That one's about safety. This one about prosper. The great thing about visiting these outer islands is that 
it doesn't feel like Hong Kong. After an hour here, you almost forgot the city life. It almost feels like you go to watch a movie, you immerse in another world. After that movie is end, you back to the reality. It almost feels like that. A day in Outer Island. Cat's restaurant on the lot roof on the on top. Hi. Now living Thai oh Thai oh you can get them with fast train. This time I actually get on a boat to get onto another outer island, Chang Chao, another very popular place for a short break from the city. Oh, furniture. Oh, aircon unit. These ferry are also responsible for like moving goods. Oh, the first thing you see when you arrive, McDonald's. This is this is so much more busier than I thought. I know Chang Chao is popular. I don't know it's this popular. It's Monday. It's Monday. Oh, Chang Chao among all the outer islands in Hong Kong. Uh, well, as I read from Wikipedia, uh, it's one of the more developed outer island. It's still got a lot of Thai tradition. Uh, it's still no cars in here, only this. It's still like two or three stories high buildings. Oh, salty fish, salty dry fish again. Even ambulance and fire engines like this. But actually, Changchou got a really long history. Uh, as I remember correctly, they find scraping. What's it called? They find some tags on the stone that's like 3,000 years ago. Changchou is also quite popular amongst yes, people from the city. Went a place here for one or two days and then just chill out around this island for a weekend. As you can see from the map, Chang Chao is quite narrow. That's why Chang Chao in Cantonese literally means long island. It's really long, like very really narrow. So narrow, you can just walk from there to another side of the island within two minutes. Other side of the island just over there. Yeah, just under one minute actually. That's the other side of the island. You are here, we are here. I've just walked from here to there in one minute. And then, yes, this is, whoops, this one, this is true. 3,000 year, 3,000 years rock carving. And whoa, look at that. Here they're probably arranging, preparing for the annual parade here in front of the, the biggest temple, I guess. The main, the main temple, I don't know. This parade happens every year and during the parade, everyone has to be veggie. Even McDonald's here stop selling meat. <laughs> I love that a lot. 
that one tower thing used to be quite not really violent but quite dangerous I mean yeah quite dangerous it used to be quite dangerous because people climb up that bun tower and then see who can get the more, more bun because those bun represent uh, safe but ironically that is not that safe but now they change it to they increase the safety they change it into a sport competition rather than who can get more buns by the way today I'm using the Sony A7 Mark III, the brand new Sony A7 Mark III. And I can confirm you that I have been shooting for quite a while, quite a couple of hours, and this still has 50% battery life. I'm sure if I was using my A7S II, thank you, uh, it will be on the second battery and already half gone. Trying to go up the hill uh, should be quite good. Should be quite good scenery up there. Yes, I'm not that fit. As you can see, all right, reach the top. Look at that. Look at that beach down there. Oh, you can see the Chow Chow. That's the lowest bit over there. If there's global warming, not if there's global warming, there is global warming. But if the global warming gets really serious, that middle part probably would get flooded and then Chang Chao would be split into North Chang Chao and South Chang Chao. Save the Earth, save Chang Chao. On a boat back to the city, now we have been to Tai O and Cheng Chou. Especially in Cheng Chou, I would act recommend if you really got time, maybe stay in Cheng Chou for one or two days. Really experience Cheng Chou. Well, there's only two outer islands destinations in Hong Kong. There are actually still a few more for you to explore. This is just a brief guide and show you what is it like. I have to thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this whole series of Hong Kong travel photography. In fact, I am a customer of Squarespace for over 10 years. Well, around 10 years, I think. I make a homepage for a family, their family business. I'm still maintaining it on Squarespace until now. I actually picked it 10 years ago. It's really easy to use, really easy to make professional looking beautiful website. Think about Squarespace and if you decide to sign up, use this link squarespace.com slash lock for 10% off. 